So it's now time to turn our attention away from club football and for the first time dip our toes into the international waters. It's the World Cup, it's England, here we go. So let's start by looking through the squad that we've picked. Three goalkeepers, Nick Pope, Dean Henderson and Jordan Pickford. It's pretty much the best that we've got available in England. We still haven't really decided who's going to play. It's going to be between Pope and Henderson. Pickford's short arms aren't going to help anything. In the left back positions, we've got Ben Chilwell and Bukayo Saka from Arsenal. Saka obviously has been playing right mid this season. But generally speaking, he is a left back. That's what he's come through the youth system as. He's got loads of pace. I think he's going to be a really good option there. Right backs, we've got Trent. Overall, 90 already on this game. Really good player for Liverpool. And Aaron Wambasaka of Man United. We've brought four centre backs. We've got John Stones, Joe Gomez, Harry Maguire, and Fakayo Tamori. Tamori is probably the most interesting pick out of those four. But I think with his pace, he can certainly do a job. And he is going to be back up most of the time. Joe Gomez and John Stones are probably going to be the starters. Defensive midfield, we've got Jordan Henderson. Captain Fantastic. And Declan Rice. Across the central midfield and attacking midfield situation, we've got Oxley chamberlain James Ward-Prowse. Phil Foden. Jaden Sancho. James Madison and Deli Alley, and then up front we've got four to pick from Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Harry Kane, Raheem Sterling and the socialist hero Marcus Rashford. Looking to the first game then this is how we're going to line up. This could change of course throughout the campaign. We're going with Pope in goal, Gomez and Stones at centre back, Trent at right back, Saka at left back, Hendo as the defensive midfielder, Foden and Oxley chamberlain in central mid, Sancho behind the two strikers of Kane and Rashford. I think it's time to get into the first game of the group stage, England against Canada. It should be a game that we're looking to win. Alfonso Davies, Junior Hoylet, two players to look out for, but this should really be three points and on our way to the knockouts. Here we go then. The first game of England's World Cup campaign gets underway against Canada. It's time now to see if the choices have paid off. Henderson, Rashford, Sancho plays in Marcus Rashford. What a finish. And what a start for England. Great football between those two. Rashford with a lovely finish. Henderson wins it back, Foden finds Kane, here's Rashford, holds it up well, finds Jaden Sancho, Jaden Sancho for two, and they've just got too much pace for this Canada back line, Jaden Sancho makes it 2-0, wonderful football, Marcus Rashford does brilliantly, and Sancho slips it in at the near post, Eustachio onto David. Slips it back. Good save. Nicky Pope finds Henderson. Phil Foden. Sancho onto Harry Kane. Harry Kane's crossing. Marcus Rashford. What a save, keeper. He'll be happy with that one. Here's Junior Hoylet. And it's missed by Trent. And Canada get one back. Huge goal for Canada. Scoring in a World Cup. Lovely touch there. And then finishes it off past Nick Poe. England 2. Canada 1. And there's half time. England 2-1 up at the break. Phil Foden. On to Harry Kate. Slips in Rashford. Marcus Rashford. Rashford again off the bar. 
One by Henderson. Calvert Lewin finds Sterling. Sterling goes beyond one. Raheem Sterling off the post. Great chance. Oh, how's he put this wide? Jonathan David. Body shape all wrong, and he's blasted it beyond the England post. It should be 2 2. Henderson does really well. Calvert Lewin finds Sterling. Sterling running at the defense. Raheem Sterling. He's run all the way. What a goal. England three, Canada one. And now surely all three points go to England. Great run from Sterling. And there's the whistle. England win the first group match. 3-1 over Canada. So next up for England, it's Cameroon. Two changes to talk about. Ben Chilwell is coming in at left back for Saka. Saka didn't do anything wrong, but I want to see how good Ben Chilwell is. And Deli Ali comes in at centre mid for Oxley Chamberlain, who I thought, although he was okay, was a little bit weak in midfield, and I think Ali might be able to fix that. Other than that, it's the same team. So let's get into it. So here we go. Match day two of the World Cup. Cameroon were beaten 2 0 in their first game by Scotland. Meaning that if England win today and Scotland beat Canada, then both England and Scotland will be through before their final game. Well, poor defending from the corner. And Cameroon take the lead against England. They just don't get rid of it. Sancho first with the mistake. And Nick Pope is beaten for a second time in the tournament. Cameroon 1, England 0. John Stones does really well. Here's Ali. Henderson. Into Kane. Rashford. Jaden Sancho takes a torch, fires home. And England the level. Lovely football from England. Quick movement. And Jaden Sancho is the man to finish it off. Deli Ali. And there's the half time whistle. Cameroon won, England won at the break. Not a great performance by England, one bit. Oh, wow. What is going on at the back? John Stones looks around for someone to play. Well, Cameroon have taken a second lead in this match. Ball across from the left. Stones should deal with it. He doesn't. He's beaten to the head. At, and it's Cameroon 2, England 1. Sterling finds Rashford. Rashford slips it through. Raheem Sterling. Can he get what He has. England draw level. Sterling off the bench. And surely staking a claim to start in the next one against Scotland. Deli Alley. Rashford. Rashford's chip ball. Sancho over the bar. And it's well won back by Trent. And he finds Rashford. Marcus Rashford looking for Sterling. It's not a great ball. Oh, it's a mistake. And Sterling puts England in front. On off the bench. Two goals for Raheem Sterling. Look at this, though, from Cameroon. Causing themselves all kinds of bother. Sterling says thank you very much. And puts England ahead. Oh, it's hit back in by Trent off the bar. Madison underneath it. And there's the whistle. England hold on to the win. It's another 3-2 victory. So then, as you can see, England went through. A 1-1 draw against Scotland in the dead rubber at the end. Colombia versus Peru. Argentina versus Uruguay. England versus France. 
Brazil versus Sweden. Switzerland play Scotland. Germany will play Italy. Two games have already gone over. Poland beating Norway by two goals to one. And Netherlands beating Greece by three goals to one. So, I hope you've enjoyed the group stage. In the next episode, very simple. We will play the round of 16, the quarterfinal and the semi-final, if of course we get to those games. And if we've managed to get through all of those, the final will be its own episode. So if you've enjoyed today's episode, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, football's coming home.